going on everybody this is Tyrone back with Tech Life and in today's video I wanted to talk about something that's probably gonna confuse a lot of you guys I've already reached out to a few people and they've also told me that this is going to leave a lot of people confused so phone arena is reporting and I've already got some of those documents a couple of days ago as I told you guys in the video but Sprint's name could live on and T-Mobile will indirectly join forces with Best Buy on August 2nd. So Mike Sievert had hinted that in one of the uh, interviews that he did after the Uncarrier move was announced, that the Sprint name could potentially live on after August 2nd. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, well, wait a minute. Didn't they just buy Sprint, absorb them to get rid of that brand because it was a negative brand and it could potentially hurt the image? Well, it seems like that's just not the case, and the name could live on after the fact of the unification that's going to start on August 2nd. So you're going to be able, and I will leave this article in the description down below so you guys can check it out, but it seems after August 2nd, you're going to still be able to go into a Best Buy and sign up for Sprint plans on T-Mobile services. So this would be the first time ever that you can sign up with t-mobile services through a third party which you know third parties like target walmart best buy early on when i was working at radio shack the only nationwide carrier we did not carry in radio shack was t-mobile and same with best buy they've never they've never had t-mobile in their stores so as you can see here, that's right. Existing Sprint customers will reportedly continue to be allowed to add new lines and upgrades in Best Buy stores after August 2nd without making any substantial changes to their accounts. What's perhaps more surprising to hear is that the retailer will even welcome new business uh, from folks who are currently not subscribed to the nation's uh, Mori bound fourth largest mobile network operator. So like I said, this is... This is very confusing, and it's going to be for a lot of people. The, the documents that we've received stated that only certain plans from Sprint would be able to migrate to T-Mobile. But other than that, it seems that even after August 2nd, the Sprint brand will remain, and you can just naturally still open a new Sprint account signing up under the, uh, the T-Mobile services. So you won't, be able, you won't be on the Sprint network signing up for Sprint but you'll be on the T-Mobile network on under the Sprint services, I mean, uh, plans. So that's, in my opinion, I'm going to be honest with you guys. To me, that's very confusing. I think right now they should just go ahead and strictly remove Sprint from all signs, all branding, and just go straight with the new T-Mobile or T-Mobile and just move forward with that. But it seems like they're going to... Uh, not take a step back, but not really take a step forward. They're, they're still going to continue adding uh, Sprint lines. So that lets me know that even within the, the company-owned stores, the ones that still have the Sprint name on them, they will be able to continue selling Sprint plans and manage Sprint accounts uh, from, from what this is telling me. So let me know in the comment section down below if you've already experienced this. Maybe you have uh, went to a Sprint store recently to sign up a a sprint plan and they still allowed it let me know in the comment section down below as of august 2nd the unification really not a big one in my opinion if they're still going to allow users to sign up for sprint plans that so choose to if you are new to the channel make sure you guys like share subscribe if you have been on the channel you can go ahead and end this video now make sure you guys hit the notification bell if you are new to the channel so you are notified when i do upload the content Make sure on the YouTube app itself, you enable push notifications so they do push the notifications to you. Also, follow my Twitter. I will leave that in the description down below so you guys have two platforms to get the videos when they come out. Push notifications on both so that way you guys have two options in case one or the other is behind on pushing out the notifications. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.